Let's go. What? I must be my new neighbor. Let me say hi to her. Go. Say hi to her. For what? Why do you want to say hi? Let me just say hi to her. For what exactly? From going to her house to say hi. Before you know it, you end up in her bedroom. Uh, yes. Cheryl, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by what I mean? Why are you acting as if you are sent? Please, let's get to where we are going to. Let's go. You want you wanna open the door for me? Really? Yes. I already put it this way. Thank you. All I was trying to do was just to say hello, hello to our new neighbor. And she was angry. Like, why would I say hello? I don't know why. I mean, some women are just too problematic. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> Mine is not like that, though. Not all women are problematic. I hear you. Now, so then they talk. <laughs> I hear you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, your relationship is just a few months old. It's just at the preliminary stage. You never say something. Just hold on. You go see. <laughs> Look at what you're saying. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. That will not happen to me. Uh, yeah, it will not happen to you. Excuse me. It will not happen to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, hello. Uh, yes. Yeah, Mr. Richard speaking. What? What? Richard, what is it? I can't believe that I lost my brother and his wife. Just like that. And I lost the poor of them, same day, just like that, just like that, put them at God. And I'm not going to see them anymore. God, God. It's okay now, take heart. So sorry. And, and my nephew, my nephew, the guy is going to grow up without his parents. You, you know how, you know how that feels. I mean, I, I don't wish that for anyone. That guy, that that boy, is just too young for that. Oh, God. <sighs> just like that. Sorry, sorry. And um, you know, when you take your nephew to to his grandmother in the village, he's going to get all the love he needs. Yes. What did you just say? Oh, what did you just say? That I should take my nephew to the village to stay with my sick old mother, his grandmother. Oh, she's sick. Okay then, take him to his maternal grandmother. She's, she was an orphan. She had no family. So, I am all he, he has right now. And his grandmother, my mother, that's all he has. My mother, family. Don't you get it? God! Then you have to take him to his grandmother. Hmm? Because you're busy, you're so busy with work, you wouldn't have time to take care of a child. And myself, huh? I don't have the energy to take care of someone's child. Sure. 
Cheryl. Let's. I'll take it we did not have this conversation. Please. But we are having this conversation. There is nothing like you will not take it like we don't have this conversation. Listen, Richard. <laughs> You're busy. I can't take care of somebody's child. Before ideas will start getting into your head, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. The best thing is for you to take him to your mother, his grandmother. Think about it, grandmothers, they don't joke with their grandchildren. Yeah. So, Calvin, you're welcome to your new home, okay? And you have to enjoy. Kelvin, what is it? I don't want a new home. I want my former home. And I want my parents back. Kelvin, come. Sit down. I understand how you feel. I know you miss your parents and I miss them too. I miss them so, so much. But you're going to be okay. Alright? This is not your new home now. Your parents are still with you. Though you don't see them. But they're in heaven watching over you. Why can't they watch over me here on earth? Why in heaven? I'm just from my parents back with me. Calvin, you're going to be fine. Okay? You'll be alright. Okay. Come on, let's go. So this is the way up straight to our rooms, huh? Okay. Oh. How is your nephew? How is he coping without his parents? <laughs> He's a strong young man. Trust me, he's handling it um, well, I, I must say. Yeah, he's handling it well. And that is why, but you still see it in him. You, you, you know that um, he's kind of sad, but he's handling it. So that is why I insisted that he stays with me, so I'll show him all the love he needs. And thank God I took that decision. Uh, not like my girlfriend suggested that I should take him to my mother, his grandmother. Thank God I didn't fool her. Yes, I'm um, talking about your girlfriend. But how is she handling him in your house? <laughs> <laughs> my brother, she's not taking it lightly, trust me. She's not, she's not. Uh, she feels I'm pushing her to into mommy's duties when she's not ready. And... Um, like the, 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 the boy is not her son, that, 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 that. But I know with time she'll grow to love him as her own son. With time, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. With time she'll grow to love him. Yeah. Yes, sir. That reminds me. Yeah. The investors are coming today to speak to you. Oh, yes, I, I know. I know they're coming today. That's why I came early as well. And I was trying to ask him to, to, to know if they have a um, the previous um, meetings they had, I wanted to see the mini and every other thing so I know where to pick up from. So I don't go mess up things. Uh, you're correct. You're mm -hmm. correct. He should have it. Please. So just um, tell him to bring it to me. All right. I will. And once again, too, thank you very much. Yeah, like she sent me money for the bag. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Oh. Kelvin, I have checked everywhere. There's no rat anywhere in this room. Okay? You need to go back to bed. But I can't stay here alone. Please stay with me. Yeah, what is it? Kelvin, you don't understand. There is no rat. There is no rat in this room. I told you there is no rat. Okay, it's morning. Aren't you going to work? God, I slept on. Oh, I'm late. I'm late for work. Kelvin. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, Mrs. There's food in the house, besides um, Auntie Sharon is around, okay? She will definitely make something for you to eat. Okay. All right? Okay. okay, I'll see you when I get back from work. Come on. Good. Good. See you. Bye. Be good. Bye. What is your little rat doing in my kitchen? I was hungry, so I decided to make cereal for myself. Hmm? You were hungry, and you decided to make... Does that give you the right to come into my kitchen? Huh? Well, if you were working up so late, I wouldn't have entered the kitchen. What? You, besides, last I remember, this isn't your kitchen. You are not Uncle Richie's wife, you are just his girlfriend. What did you just say to me? You heard me right. What? Come here, come back here! Come here, come back here. Ah, God, this is <laughs> You've made me fall. Oh my God, my God. How oh, bad if I 
get you. I am so going to deal with you. Come, come. Oh, my God. This boy, this boy. Oh, my God. Good That's boy. good for you. You're still talking. Okay. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you. Hey, what's up, darling? How are you? Bye. And how's the day? Yeah, my day was just there. All right. I always work today. Oh, fine. fine. Mm. You have to freshen up, right? Yeah, sure. And how's Calvin? That one. <laughs> that boy does not have manners at all. Not a single manner. Can you imagine I met him in my kitchen? My kitchen! And when I was trying to correct him, he started insulting me. Insulting you? Yes. Are you sure Kelvin insulted you? What kind of a question is that? I am telling you what he did and you're asking me if I'm sure. <sighs> it's okay. Well, I'm going to speak to him, all right? I'll speak to him. But you should also remember he's a kid. Who is a kid? Because he's a kid that should let him misbehave. Is that what you're saying? That is not what I said. Then what are you talking about? What are you saying? Listen, you have to warn that boy. Warn him because I won't take any insult from him. His name is Kelvin. Richard! Calvin. Richard! Calvin! You're walking out of me! Uncle Richard! How are you? Calvin. How are you? Okay. Alright. I'm just trying to sleep. You're trying to sleep? Yes. Okay. Why are you sleep? So, Calvin, tell me. Um, what happened between you and Auntie Cheryl? I didn't do anything to her. I was only trying to make cereal for myself because she woke up very late. And she saw me in the kitchen and started shouting at me and she got angry. It's okay. About her waking up very late. I'll speak to her about it. Okay? But. I want you to do me one favor. One big favor. Stay away from her kitchen. Try to avoid that kitchen. Is that clear? Okay. Good. Good boy. Alright. Alright, now you can take your rest. I'll come check on you before you sleep, okay? Is that how badly you miss me? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Today is not going to work. But if you beg me, maybe I'll consider seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, request granted. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why are you not eating your food? Nothing. Nothing. 
You want me to feed you as a baby before you eat? No. Hmm? You know, the kids on the road, hawking, begging to see how they can feed. But look at you. You have food and you want to waste it. Not on my watch. Eat that food. Eat that food. That's what I said. And let me tell you something. I don't want to see a piece left on that plate. Do you understand? Good. So, who is that one? That one is the baddest. Hey, baby. And where are you going to? I didn't tell you. No. God, you must have slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. My friends and I, we have a party this weekend, so I want to get home. It's okay then. Promise me you're going to take good care of yourself. Sure I will. And you too, take good care of yourself. All right. Don't miss me too much, okay? I will. Mm, I love you. <laughs> love you too. Baby. See you. All right, see you. All right, take care of yourself. Right. Tell me. Bye. Go. Bye. Oh, yeah. So, so tell me, what's the fire service guy doing there now? He's helping this one so she can find back. We don't just change her. I'm preaching. It's on Sharon's still coming back. Why are you asking? It's one way now, and she's not back. Or oh, did you break up with her? Kelvin, what do you know about breaking up? Can you concentrate with your studies and um, make sure you do all your assignments and stop asking adult questions or stop acting as an adult? Yes, sorry. Good. Just go on with your cartoon. Baby. <laughs> Hi. Hey. 
Then what is it? Like you said you are going for the weekend, isn't it? You said you were going to see your people just for the weekend. And for one week, one good week, I couldn't set my eyes on you. You weren't even taking my calls. Babe, I'm so sorry, okay? My phone spoiled. That's why I couldn't take your call. You couldn't? It wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. So why didn't you, why didn't you just use someone else's phone to call me? Huh? Why didn't you use someone else's phone to call me? At least let me know that you're okay, you're fine. That's what you should have done. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I, I didn't know that you loved me this much. I was just gone for a week. Are you really acting like this? I'm sorry. Wish. And let this not really be talk again. I was worried. I'm sorry, baby. Okay. Okay, let me make it up to you, baby. Babe? Yeah. Mm. What about the money I asked you? What money? Did I promise you any money? Yes, have you forgotten? I told you last week that my friends and I would be attending a birthday party and I need a new dress and shoes for it. Sharon, last month you asked me for money that you wanted to go shopping, right? And I gave you the money. You went for shopping. You bought some clothes and shoes. So why not just go to your room, pick up a cloth, a shoe, and go for the party? You want me to put on old clothes? My friends are going to be on their new dresses, and you want me to go there looking like a house help? I can't, though. Well, I don't have money right now. You don't have money? I don't. Mm. OK. Let me be going to my house now. So you don't have uh, 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 uh. You want to go to your house? Then who is going to be in the house with Kelvin? You want to leave him all alone? Is that what you want to do? If you want somebody to be with Kelvin, you get him a nanny. I'm not his nanny. No, but, but I'm trying to get him a nanny, but I have to be certain who I'm bringing into this house to take care of him. Right? So please, I'll get one. I, I, I'm still searching. If you want me to be here, then you're going to give me that money. If not, I'll be going to my house. Uh, fine. Fine. I'll give you the money. Now we are talking. I love you. What is it? Can I go outside? What's my business if you want to go outside or not? Huh? Why are you asking me? Please, go out of my face. This food is very delicious. Mm. I'm spoiling you with good meal in this house. Mm. Mm. Really, you are. 
her now. And you're supposed to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on, eat. Eat up. Okay. You like it, right? <laughs> I know you do. Mm. Mm. Honey, you know what? Mm. When you're done eating, I'll just put more for you. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm Eat up. Uh, uh, just, just, just eat. Hmm? What is he saying? No, 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 uh, no. Um, I forgot to tell you. I was planning to take him uh, to the mall today. To the mall? Yeah, just to get him some clothes. Uh, but that will be later, right? Uh, um, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to get him some clothes. Maybe after the meal. Uh, Toby and I will be going to the um, sports club later in the day, so we should go to the mall immediately after this meal. Okay. Later in the day, we'll go. We'll go to the sports club. Okay. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do you want water? Take your juice, okay? Okay. Mm. Okay. My name is Amanda. I see you play outside often. Don't you go to school? My uncle is looking for a very good school for me. Oh, I see. All right, then we'll talk some other time, okay? Bye. Bye. I'm watching something. I know, but I wanted to talk to you. About what? So you prefer the football to me now? Okay, what is it? Babe, there is this hair that I saw and I spoke to the vendor. It's really nice. It's going to look very good on me. She said it's 250000 naira. 250000 mm -hmm. My pass is gone now. Babe, now. Talking to you, you're watching football. Please, I really want this hair. Please now. Hmm? Are you going to? Hmm? Look at now, it's so nice. It's going to fit me. I have this part I need to attend my friend's birthday, and this is what I want to use. Yes. 
Your door is not opening. Can't you open your door? What? Kelvin. Can I come in? Yes, please come in. Does your uncle know you're here? My uncle is not around. And I'm bored. So I just need someone to talk to. Hmm. Okay. I am just going to give you a few minutes. All right? Please. Thank you. You're welcome. So you said you were bored and you want to talk to someone. So I'm listening. My uncle's girlfriend, she can't even cook. She doesn't know how to cook. Even Indomie, she can't cook. And she's very lazy. Mm -hmm. She's a bad person. I don't like her at all. I wish my, my uncle was with someone else. But thank God you're not yet married. Uh, Kelvin, you are. You're such a handful. I didn't even know you could talk this much. You know, someone listening to you from outside would think it's an adult talking. I gave you a few minutes, right? And uh, your few minutes is up. So it's time for you to, to leave. Okay then. Thank you, I really enjoyed talking to you. Bye. You're welcome, bye. Richard, please. Cheryl, what is it? Hmm. Me, what is it? So you've forgotten, right? You've forgotten how you pushed me away in the sitting room. Come on, Cheryl, now we're still on that. Huh? We we'll have a kid in the house now. We can't be doing all that in the parlor and every other place. That is it. It's always Kelvin, Kelvin this, and Kelvin that. Ever since that boy got into this house, you don't care about anybody else. Sharon, you should understand. You of all people should understand. I lost my brother and his wife. It's the same thing. The same thing. Two accidents. You understand. You should understand. You should know that. Come on. That boy is going through hell. He's passing through hell. You're doing as if you don't know what happened. I shouldn't be doing that. It's not about Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin. I mean, sometimes you try to understand and stop being insensitive. Me, being insensitive. 
Yes, yeah. of course. You're being insensitive. Oh, okay, Richard. All these insults is because I'm in your house, right? Because I'm in your house. That's why you're calling me insensitive. You're so pathetic. Oh, God. Hey, now I'm pathetic. Richard, because I'm in your house, you're insulting me and calling me pathetic. No problem, but you are the one that is pathetic. Uh -huh. Go to Kelvin. Hmm? Mm. <sighs> Richard, don't touch me. Oh. Hold on, please. Ah, Kelvin. What? I'm not meant, to, I'm not meant to be here because my uncle doesn't know I'm here. But I'll only stay for 30 minutes and I'll leave. Okay. And let me go get your own food. You eat, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Close your eyes. Thank you, Kelvin. It just tastes like uh, my mom or something. What's the problem? What's wrong? I miss my parents. What happened to them? They died in a car accident. Kelvin, I am so sorry about that, okay? them so much. I wish they were alive still here on earth watching over me. They're in heaven now. As my uncle said. Okay. Sit properly. Let me tell you something. I know you must be feeling lonely. Hmm? But I don't want you to feel lonely. You have your uncle, you have your auntie, and you have me now. And by the way, my door is always open for you, okay? If you want to talk to anybody, I am here. Thank All right? You. But no one can be like my parents. Calvin, you are absolutely correct. Nobody can feel the space of a parent. But, you know, my own parents died exactly when I was your age, and I understand how you're feeling now. But I will tell you that with time, the pain goes away. 
At some point, I was living with my guardian. And still, I felt that pain even worse. It didn't go away until I told myself that, yes, mommy and daddy are in heaven. I realized that they were gone. And with time, I started healing. You know, as a den, I used to feel like I want to see my mom, I want to see daddy and tell them that I miss them, that I love them. I had so many things I wanted to say to daddy, even till today. But I know that he's not coming back. They are not coming back. Well, you see, with all this talk, all I'm saying is that time will heal everything. Okay? Just try and adapt to your new home. You have your uncle, you have your auntie, and you have me. All right? Okay. Now eat. Let's eat, okay? Okay. Do you want me to feed you? Hmm? Mm. Dr. Martin, I, I found a good school for Kelvin. Really? Yeah. That's nice. Where? Uh, not too far from here. A few minutes away from here. I know he's going to love the school. Mm. Yeah, it's very cool. And also big with um, qualified teachers as well. The environment is... That's cool. All right. All right. Just all right. What else do you want me to say? Well, that is supposed to be your duty. Mr. Amanda. Hmm? Where are you that I went to resume school next week. Next week? That's wonderful. Are you not excited? I don't want a new school. I want my former school. And I miss my friends. How? I don't understand you. Well, yes, you miss your old friends, but come to think of it, it's really okay making new friends, you know? And maybe when you get to your new school now, you would see that... Your old friends, you won't miss them that much anymore. You understand? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's continue playing. <coughs> Sorry, darling. Okay. Yeah, what are you doing? Are you the one doing this? Yes. I just want to treat you. No, you cannot do that. No, of course, it is short to be. You know I'm a short stopper. Mm -hmm. When I walked into that celebration, everybody was just staring at me. <laughs> Even the celebrating knows that I looked more beautiful than she did. Um, babe, please, can I call you back? Yes. Kelvin. Kelvin! Come here. Were you deaf the first time I called you? Yeah. Were you deaf the first time I called you? Yeah. What is this place doing here? Hmm? Who left it here? Yeah. It was you. You left it for who? For your house help to take it to the kitchen and wash for you. Hmm? Is that it? Yeah. Hmm, Kelvin. I, I was dead. So I decided to watch TV and watch it later. I was tired. Calvin, before I open my eyes, hmm? take this plate. I don't want to see this plate on this table again. Before I open my eyes, I count three, one. No. You would have left it there for me now to take it out for you. Look at this little brat. Where are you going? Where to? Huh? Where? Where are you going? You want to go and watch the Why my friend will go upstairs? Spoiled. 
spoilt brat. I'm coming to sit down with the phone. <laughs> Imagine always watching cartoon. What else do you know how to do? Sit and watch cartoon. Where is the remote? Hello? Calvin! Yes? Come on, let's start doing this. Let's try. Okay? Because you're going to meet your new classmates and friends. Alright? So you need to smile. And also you're going to meet the, the girls in your class. And you're going to make them love you. Oh, so you can smile. Because I say the girls are going to love you and you started smiling. Watch it. Take it, take it. Up. Take me up. Take me up. Oh. 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 Where is it? So how is Calvin? Oh, Calvin is fine. He's doing great. In fact, he started um, school today. Oh, really? <laughs> when did you find the school for him? Uh, Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, who was this? Oh, yes, Mr. Richard on the line. Oh, Kelvin's proprietress. I hope Kelvin is fine. What? It's okay. I'll be on my way. Thank you. What is the problem? Is Calvin okay? <laughs> he fought in school. He. He fought in school with his um, classmates. Why? I don't know. I have to go there right away. Yes, yes. Oh, very important. So you can handle the other things. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so I'll see you later. Yeah, all right. Calvin, why would you fight with your classmates? I mean, why would you fight with your classmates? I mean, your first day. Your very first day in school. You went to school, you went to fight. Why did you fight? Why? Are you not the one he's talking to? Will you open your mouth and talk? It wasn't my fault. It was him. He was talking to me and I didn't answer him. And he started pushing me. And I pushed him back. Mm. And you guys started fighting. Right? You started fighting? Kelvin. Why are you even talking? This boy needs to be punished. Punish him. You are grounded for one week. One full week. No watching of television and you must go to bed early. When I mean early, I mean very early. Is that clear? Is that clear, Kelvin? Yes. Good. You this little rat. That's actually right. Hmm? It says to me, are you more than me? Hmm? Is that who you are? Why did you go to school to fight? Next time you get to school and fight anyone again, I will deal with you. Stubborn boy. Look at him. What are you still standing here doing? Go upstairs and change.
Baby, your phone is ringing. Baby, your phone is ringing. Your phone is ringing. Don't, don't answer it. Um, it's, it's my cousin, Namaka. She's always calling me asking for money. Maka will not, will not let me be. Always asking me to borrow her money all the time. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, Calvin, <laughs> how are you? Doing? Yes. Um, how is school? Yes. I tried calling your daddy, but his number is switched off. Is he at home? No, he's not around. Okay. Okay. Calvin, Calvin, I hope you're not there watching cartoon while I'm in the kitchen suffering for you. Uncle Toby is here. Will you come and wash this place? Yeah. Um, Toby, good afternoon. How are you? Your friend is not around. Oh my god, my food is boiling, Toby. Alright, um, when you get back, tell him I called. Okay, I will. Calvin, I will see you later, okay? <laughs> Be a good boy. Uncle Toby, please, can you bring my daddy to let me wash TV? I will talk to him, okay? Thank you. You're a good boy. <laughs> okay, you can come on up the door. Take care of yourself. Okay. I came to your house yesterday to see you, but um, you were not around. No. Did Sharon tell you? Uh, no, she didn't tell me. Or maybe she forgot. Okay, I... I didn't like the way she spoke to Calvin. Yes, she was too harsh on him, telling him not to watch TV and all that. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I gave him that punishment. Oh, you did? Yes. So, why? Like, you were here when the school called me that um, he fought with his classmates. So I had to punish him one way or the other so it doesn't happen again. I know, I know. But remember what he's going through. You should try and be petting him no matter what he does. Oh, I should pet him and let him do whatever he wants to do, even if he's wrong. Huh? I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say you shouldn't correct him, but try to be a little lenient with the punishment. You know, kids love watching TV. It makes them happy. Kelvin is my cousin. I know him better than you do. But don't worry, it's going to be fine. Okay. If you say so. Yes, I'm saying so. So, <laughs> um, the, the items, uh, the, the, they bring them? Yes, I was able to speak to their boss. He said they will make delivery by next week. Oh, good. Next week again. Next week, next week, next week. The same logistics people. Why are they always doing this? They will ask you to pay this pay that you pay and they will not deliver. I, I don't understand. What's going on? They keep wasting time, you know. And they will ask you to pay. Full payment. That's the problem. Let's call them again. Call them again. Please. How are you? Since then, I've not been allowed to watch TV and my uncle has been angry at me. Hmm. Kelvin, you know what you did was actually wrong, right? Yes. So I understand okay. your uncle for giving you that punishment. What you have to do now is right your wrongs. How? How? It's, it's just go to Uncle Richie and say, I am sorry, Uncle. You, you know, just say, I am sorry. I am sorry is actually a magic word that solves problems. So once you say you're sorry, 
everything is fine. Especially when you say you're sorry with a genuine heart, a sincere one. And I know you're very sincere about what you'll be saying to your uncle. Oh God, I didn't that's going to my mind, sis. <laughs> very funny. Thank you. That's fine, it's okay. What are you doing? I thought you this game and you're actually playing better than myself. I won. You did not win, look. I won! How? I got to see the ball enter the post. And it's your post, not mine. Okay. Yeah, what is it? Can I talk to you? I'm sorry for what I did in school. I know what I did was wrong. I won't do it again. Please forgive me. You promise you won't do it again? I promise. Never, ever again. Never, ever, ever again. Cross your heart. I forgive you. Thank you. Do I look like your math teacher? Eh? Where am I going to do that? I don't know how to do it. That's why I'm asking you. Listen, if you get to school tomorrow, hmm, you copy from your classmate. You need to be smart. Okay? My teacher said that she's going to flog us if we copy from each other. Then let her flog you. When she flogs you, she will do the correction, and then you learn from the correction. please, no. This boy, leave me alone. Do you want me to leave this house for you? Leave me alone, okay? Get this chair. Sorry, let me help you. All right. Thank you. Can I have your pencil? Okay, now I'm going to get it. Okay, this is simple. Very simple. What have you? What's the Do you know? To be fixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, so Calvin, your teacher called me today and she said you're behaving well in class. And also your grades are very, very impressive. Especially your assignments. That you're doing really, really good. I'm so proud of you. And keep it up. Thank you. Hmm. And thank me too. Because I'm the one that helped him with the assignment. Really? Yes. Thank Kelvin. you, darling. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. You know, Kelvin is like a son to me. And I love him so much. Hello? Oh, yes. I've been expecting the call. Oh, oh, sorry. I left the phone upstairs. It's okay. All right, I'll go check it out and um, I'll call you immediately. Yeah, yeah, immediately. All right. Yes, I'm ready. Are you stupid? Hmm? How dare you accuse me of lying? But you didn't help me with my assignment. Will you shut up your mouth? I'm talking and you're still talking. I helped you with that assignment. If you say something else, you see what I'll do to you. You're lying. Eh? What? Babe, what are you talking about? You know me. I'm a very smart girl. He can never catch me. You should know that. <laughs> Am I supposed to answer this question? All right. Let me answer it. I love Desmond, but you know Desmond is broke. And I can't let a baby girl like me suffer in poverty. So Richard is for the money, of course. Yes. I'm going to keep Desmond for the love and Richard for the money. You know that song, where the money resides, where the money resides. <laughs> you, you. Um, please, can I call you back? Come, come here. How long have you been standing there? What do you say? How long have you been standing there? Why are you staring at me like that? You see you, this boy. I don't blame you at all. I blame your parents in the grave that raised a naughty boy like you. Don't You're call so my naughty. parents! If I call them, what will you do? Hmm? Answer me! What are you going to do if I call them? Eh? You think of your... <laughs> Hi. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Um, listen, Kelvin and I, we were just playing. You know, Kelvin likes to play a lot. Kelvin? Hmm. Are you okay? Okay. All right. All right, I'll be upstairs. Okay. <laughs> oh, Kelvin. Okay. Have you done your assignments? Yes. Sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. um, even if he hasn't, don't worry. I would help him All like right. I always do. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. All right, uh, All right I'll see you down. Why did you lie? Please, please shut up your mouth. What do you know? Why are you still here? Auntie Amanda. Is it good for a woman to have a man for love and the other for money? Hmm? Kelvin, where did you get this statement from? I don't understand. You've been watching too many adult movies, right? No, I'm not. Then where did you get this line from? It's Auntie Sharon. She was telling her friend that she lost this month. 
She also said that she is with Uncle Richie for money. <laughs> Should I tell him? No! No, 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 please. You don't have to tell your uncle, okay? It is not in your place. This is adult issues and you don't have to involve yourself. Alright? Okay. Good. But um, there now. is no but. Kelvin, there is no but. You see what concerns you is this. Your studies. Okay? Are you hungry? Mm. Are you hungry? Are you sure? Do you want to eat something I can make golden moon for you? Noodles? Rice? Do you want that? No. Yeah. Okay, oh, what is it? What do you want to say? Um have you arranged your room? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I've arranged my room. Okay. Uh -oh. Um what about <laughs> please, please, please. Please, sir. Come on, let the boy be. Okay, let him be. Oh, okay. So, Kevin, what is it? What do you want to tell him? Should I tell him? No! No, 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 please. You don't have to tell your uncle, okay? Kelvin, what is it? I... Huh? I... What? I want to go to Leisure Mall. Leisure Mall. <laughs> <laughs> Children. <laughs> I thought you wanted to say something important. Okay, you know what? I'll take you to the mall next weekend. Right? Thank you. You're welcome. My God, children. <laughs> That's so. such a special thing. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. <laughs> Told me all I needed was a mm. This boy was about to talk. He has a parrot mouth and he can't keep short. I'm in big trouble. I need to act fast. What will I do now? Think, Sharon. He didn't do it. He said he didn't do it. Yes. 
<laughs> so you're going to believe him, Richard? You're going to? Uh, you're sh- always uh, taking his side. Sh- Sharon, please, Sharon. Leave me alone. Uh, my way, see, see what you do. If it's not for you, yeah, what are going to do? Sharon, my... please. <laughs> after everything, after how I treat you kindly, you do this to me. <laughs> This house is always about him. You don't listen to me. You don't. I have to tell everything he did to me. Sharon, I'm sorry. You will take his side. No. No, Richard, I'm leaving. Okay? I'm leaving. And if you, if you love me, that boy has to go. He has to go. And you better do it fast. Do it fast, Richard. Otherwise, I'm going to go to someone else. What? Huh? You want to ease yourself? When we're ready to go out, hurry up and come back and give me just a minute. I'm just looking everything not working for me. Calvin! Try this next time. Is that fair? Don't try it. Move, I'm late. at your place to see if um, I'll, I'll see you there, but I didn't see you. Sharon, please just hear me out, okay? Please. Yeah. Yes, it is. 
Sharon, Sharon. What? I didn't do it. I'm telling the truth. Just go inside. Get inside! Uncle Richie, this Uncle Richie, Dad. Everything Uncle Richie. Uncle Richie, Uncle Richie, would I rest? Are you the only one in this world? What is wrong with you? Huh? What? Ever since you came into this house, from one problem to the other. And now because of you, Sharon has left me. What do you want me to do? Are you still calling me Uncle Richie? Uncle Richie, Uncle Richie? Stop calling my name! Nonsense! Sometimes I regret what you're doing here. I just don't know what you're doing in my house. I don't wish really, you're not here! Kelvin, I know you did not do it. I believe you, okay? But my uncle hates me now. And he doesn't want me in his house anymore. Mm, 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 mm. That's not true. Where did you hear that from? That's what he said. Kelvin, if your uncle said that, it was because he was angry. Trust me, you don't need to take it to heart, okay? okay. He loves you. Mm -hmm. I like that. Stop worrying yourself, okay? Now, um, I'll get you water so you feel relaxed. Okay. Cold water? Yes! No, I'm not giving you cold water. I only asked you. <laughs> I'm going to get you room temperature water. Okay. <laughs> Kelvin, very funny. Oh, God. Yeah, to be what up? Yeah, my life. Um, so that's what she told you. Yes, she says she's not going to come back until he leaves my house. Until Kelvin leaves my house. <laughs> Live to where exactly? Uh, probably his grandmother's house. I mean, my mother's house. I mean, I just don't understand. You know, but, but are you sure it was Kelvin that did it? But Kevin doesn't look like that kind of child. But who else would have done it? Who else? Just the both of them in the house. Who else would have done it? Huh? But, but even if he did it, I think Sharon's reaction is a bit too far. Kevin is still a child. She could have just let it go. I mean, I guess you guys would just punish him by saying he should leave the house. To where exactly? That was too far. But you know how much I love this girl. You know how much I love Sharon. And I... I, mean, I, I, I just don't want to lose her because of this whole thing. I don't want to lose her at all. I, I just don't know what Richard, to do. Richard, I understand. But she just... See, just give her some time, okay? Maybe she needs space for now. With time, she will come back. She will come back to you. It is, it is not shadow we know. Huh? Please, I want, I want this, I want you to just chill, okay? Don't get yourself bothered about it. We can discuss. It's, it's okay. Later. That's okay. I, I've heard you. Alright, I'll... Alright, bro. Alright, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to right. you later. Yeah, see you later in the day.
Calvin. 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 Calvin, where are you? I'm just sleeping a lot. Calvin. Calvin. your water. have to leave. So Kelvin, let's go. But I don't want to go home now. Kelvin, I cannot keep you here. Your uncle will be looking for you, so let's go. Let me take you home. Please, chairman, don't let me stay here. Please. Okay. Just for tonight, do you understand? Tomorrow morning, very early, I'll take you back home. Okay. I am very serious about it. Okay. All right. So, what do we do? Let's play a game. Yes. FIFA. Okay. Let me turn it on. Yes. I've not seen him since yesterday. But not set my eyes on him. But this is serious. I mean, where could he have gone to? He, he doesn't know anybody around. That's something I've been asking myself. The very same question I've been asking myself since yesterday. It's all my fault. Well, Richard, I, 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 I yelled at him. He said I shouldn't tell. Maybe that's why he ran away. No, um, there's no point in blaming yourself for this. The most important thing to do is to find him as soon as possible. Exactly. I was about going to the police station before you came. Okay. Okay, um, let's go there now. Kelvin, where have you been? I've been looking for you since yesterday. Where did you go to? I'm sorry I yelled at you yesterday. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean it. I was just angry. I'm sorry. Okay. And that was what happened. Your girlfriend has been cheating on you all along. The reason she did what she did was for you to chase Kelvin away before he says anything to you. 
Sharon won't cheat on me. No, she wouldn't cheat on me. <laughs> I suggest you have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Kelvin. Maybe he would open up and tell you what he's been saying. Mind you, Kelvin will not make up such lies against her. But come to think of it, everything makes sense now. No wonder she was so persistent in you chasing Kelvin away. This is serious. Kelvin. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I was just angry. And I promise I won't do it again. Okay? Okay. I missed you. I missed you, please. Forgive me. Okay. Have you forgiven me? Yes. You sure? Yes. And, um... Amanda. Oh, Richard. Uh, my good friend and colleague, Toby. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. It's fine, don't mention it. So, Kelvin, are you trying to say that you heard Auntie Sharon saying all that on phone? Yes, I did. She said she's with you for money and she loves this month. I believe you. I know you can't lie to me. I believe everything. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for yelling at you. And all those things I said. I didn't mean them. I know I didn't mean them. So, the, the neighbor, you're close to her and you did not tell me. Now, Kelvin. Yes, we are. Don't you tell me? Auntie Amanda is a very nice person. She was the one that helps me with my assignment. No time to shine. Wait a minute. Kelvin, are you trying to tell me that Auntie Amanda helps you with your assignments, assists you with your assignments, and not and the Sharon. No, she doesn't. She was lying that day. And the Sharon was lying. <sighs> Tommy. I can't believe I've been a fool all this while. So Sharon has been lying to me. She has been lying to me all this while. She has been deceiving me all this while as well. And I didn't know. A big fool, that's what I am. Richard, stop blaming yourself. Stop disturbing yourself. How else would you have known she was cheating on you? You should be thankful to God you found out about her before getting married to her. You 
It all makes sense to me now. Yes, it does. Now I know why she doesn't pick her calls in front of me. She'll keep saying her no, 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 that she's not going to pick the call because it might be one of her cousins trying to ask her for money. Even when she leaves my house and says she's going home, she doesn't go home. She goes straight to that man's house. I know you really loved her, but deep down I knew she wasn't just the right person for you. But I didn't want to tell you, you know, good enough things eventually played out the way they are meant to. You know how much I love Sharon. To be, you know how much I love Sharon. You know I love her so much. Yeah, hold on, I'm coming. Hold on, coming. Sorry, thank you. I actually came to see Kelvin. Like, I need to. I bought a new game. I need us to play together. Oh, well. Kelvin is sleeping right now. Okay, then. <laughs> yes. I'll take my leave, uh -oh. okay? Uh, before you leave, please. I, I, want, I want to say thank you. I mean, thank you for everything you're doing. I mean, for Kelvin. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, it's nothing. You know, we talked and when he told me he lost his parents, I instantly connected with him because I lost mine at a very tender age. Oh. So I, I know how he must feel. I have to go now, okay? When he wakes up, just tell him that I checked on him. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yes, he's here. Please come in. Please. Thank you. Please. Kelvin. You are here eating. And I've been looking for you all over the house for God knows how many minutes. And you're here enjoying yourself. <laughs> I'm talking and you're laughing. I'm not joking. You were sleeping. So, and I didn't want to disturb you, so I came to Auntie Amanda's house. So, yeah. um. <clears throat> I don't have any issue you coming to Auntie Amanda's house. Okay? Okay. But always inform me before you leave the house, is that clear? Okay. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Good boy. <clears throat> um, we still have more food in the kitchen. I hope you don't mind. I can get you some. Uh, I, I, I don't and think. Uncle Richie, mm -hmm. you should join us. Her food is delicious. Unlike Auntie Shah. Uh, oh. Um. Oh. Do you still mind? I can get you the food. I wouldn't mind. All right. I'm going to get food from the kid. went from perfect to sad to sad i didn't have the life that i planned but i've got uncle richie i've got uncle richie he told me all i needed was a little room what really he's back Last time I checked, today is it my birthday, so what's going on? Yes, we know today is not your birthday, but a very special day. <laughs> it's Father's Day. Oh! <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Uncle <laughs> I didn't see this coming at all. I didn't see it coming. Thanks, son. I love you so much, my boy. I love you so much. Uh, I thought we have something to say to Daddy. Tell me what is it? What's your father doing, Kuriki? I know you're surprised I'm doing this, but why shouldn't I? Why are you? You're my new father. Who takes me out, drop me out of school, play with me, and buy for me everything I want? They go just see my Kuriki and I love you. Went from perfect to sad to sad. I love you I didn't too, have the life that I planned, but I've got Uncle Richie. I've got Uncle Richie. He told me all I needed was a little room. He gives me all and then an extra few. Oh, I've got Uncle Richie. I've got Uncle Richie. Yeah. Welcome. Please come sit. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I'll be leaving very soon. Okay. Well, I just came to say thank you. Thank you very much for yesterday. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me what you did. Thank uh, you. It's fine. You know, I'm really glad I did that. People like you who like take up fatherly roles for children who actually needs it. You need to be celebrated. It's from my heart. Thank you. And once again, thank you. <laughs> well, I just wanted to know if you'll be free to join us for dinner later tonight. Oh, dinner. Uh -huh. I'll be free, yes. It's okay. Ah. That will mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. So I'll see you later then. Mm-hmm. See you later. Okay then. Um, bye. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the door. The door. <laughs> All right. Thanks, sir. <laughs> okay.
Richard, are you sure you want to do this? Sure, I'm very, very sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a life-changing decision. You can't afford to make a mistake. I know. And I know this is going to be one of the best decisions I have ever made in my life. If it's not going to be the best decision I will ever make in my life. <laughs> okay, since you're sure of what to do, congrats, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much, bro. <laughs> and trust me, I can't wait. We can't wait. Oh, we can't <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Thank all right, all right. Thank you for standing by. Yes, um, I need to run to my office. I'll see you later. You better do. All right. And send me those files. Sure. As usual. All right. Just... But have you checked your room? I mean, the drawers in there. Oh, yes, I have. Everywhere, everywhere in the room I've checked. Please just help me check that look at the, the drawer. There is a box in here. This is it. Here. Hey. What's going on here? What is she doing here, Richard? So you have succeeded in seducing, seducing my man, you! Richard. Richard, what is she doing here? What are you doing here? What? What do you mean by what I am? What are you doing here? You cheat. Oh, you think I don't know? You think I don't know about you and Desmond? Oh yeah, you love Desmond. And you see me as a bank, like your, 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 your ATM machine, where you just come and withdraw money. Richard. Don't, don't, don't tell what me. What are you talking about? You're asking me what I'm talking about. Me, Jesus. You, How? you cheat. You think I don't know? Yeah. The last time you told me, you, you, I, 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 I have a better battle with my friends. You spent the weekend in his house. Yeah, that's exactly what you did. Me? Oh, 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 the money you collected from me is finished, right? So now you're back to withdraw more, isn't it? That can be me. You are a cheat. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, you, you love this one. Yeah, you love this one, and and you're with you're 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 richer because of his money. That is exactly what you're doing. Me. Somebody's trying to get me. Who's trying? Little me, like. Somebody's lying against me. Calvin! We see that many of you are that, that little wizard that you get in this house. Calvin, if I get you, I am going to so deal with you. Richard is lying. No, baby. You can't do this to me. I, I love you, Richard. And I, I don't love, love you. Just leave my house. Sharon, I said, leave my house! 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 Please, I want you to marry me and be the mother of my children. My unborn children. My nephew Kelvin, is like a son to you. You've, you've brought happiness into our home. Please marry me. Be the mother of my unborn children. Give my nephew Kelvin more siblings. And I promise, I promise you that I'm going to be the best father and the best husband you can you can ever think of. Forgive me. 
Don't. Don't look at my mistakes and judge me. I have felt something for you ever since I set my eyes on you. You are the nicest person I have ever come in contact with. And I wouldn't want to miss it for anything. Please marry me. Marry me and make me the happiest man on earth. was a little room he gives me all and then extra few oh i've got on kurichi kurichi i've got on kurichi Uncle Richie, I've got Uncle Richie, Uncle Richie. 